This video will demonstrate the ease of use of the Aquila by showing the user how to use the system to add a new patient, perform a patient sample test, and interpret the results screen. First, open the reagent cover. Put the reagent bottle into the bay and then remove the cap and terminal plate. These can be placed next to the reagent bottle as they are needed when the reagent bottle is empty and must be changed. Attach the reagent connector head to the bottle and close the reagent cover. After waiting five minutes to allow the instrument to reach its optimal working temperature, turn on the system by pressing and holding the round power button for two seconds and log in to the user interface. An acceptable blank measurement must be performed before the user can initiate a whole blood measurement. To perform it, press blank on the measure screen and the system will start automatically and take approximately one to three minutes to complete. When the parameters are displayed in range, press accept and the analyzer is now ready to measure a whole blood patient sample. The user can access the patient database by selecting the patient tab. By selecting add patient, a new window will appear, allowing the patient data to be uploaded. The obligatory fields are marked with a red frame. Select Save when all the necessary fields are completed. To start another new whole blood measurement, go to the Measure screen and select Measure and enter the patient data or if the patient already exists in the database, then press Patient Database and select the patient. Insert the sample and press measure. The measure process will take 60 seconds to complete. When the measurement is complete, the following results screen will show the results of the measured CBC parameters. Just above the results table, a green alert sign will indicate that the measurement is in range while a red alert sign means the result is out of range. The results are also depicted in histogram format below the result tables. In the event where there are many alerts, they will be shown in the flag display area as warning flags and interpretive flags. For a detailed explanation regarding each flag, please refer to the user manual. To start the next measurement, select the Measure tab.